guys welcome back to my channel today let's discuss exporting the data from power apps gallery to an excel file or a csv file so this is the requirement which we get most oftenly from the clients or stakeholders right so they'll ask us to provide an icon on top of a gallery and uh, they want us to have a local copy of the data whatever they're visualizing in the canvas app right to perform some manual operations or to have a local file storage or for their uh, you know point of reference later right so this is the most commonly used uh, requirement so let's see step by step how we can achieve this export to an excel or a csv file as you can see my screen this is one of the canvas app okay and in this canvas app i am having a gallery that names records gallery one okay and I want to show you the items property of this gallery and I want to show how I am populating all this data. Okay. I'm initializing it a collection over here. All the data are loading from this gal call. Okay. And I'm in I'm initializing this collection at the app on start property. As you can see, this is my formula. Okay. I'm initializing the collection and here is my condition. So first condition is my filter. Okay. I'm filtering my data source where I'm saying the the, the column name total should be greater than 10 okay and one more function i'm utilizing is show columns okay i'm utilizing this show columns because i want only these specific columns to be fetched from the data source not the remaining columns okay for that reason i'm fetching i'm utilizing this show columns function okay so with this i'm initializing my gal call okay so now if you see on the on select property of this okay let's start from the scratch i'll make it as false okay and let's remove the power automate as well so that we'll start from the scratch okay so to achieve this particular functionality we have to take an help of power automate okay so all the data we have to pass it to the power automate and with power apps power automate will help us export all the data present in the power app screen okay so here i am going to the power automate section and i am creating a new flow I'll say create from the blank. And I'll name it as export to Excel. Okay. And as you can as you can see, I have added a manual trigger that is power apps trigger, right? So since for exporting the data, we first thing is we have to pass the entire data from our canvas app, right? So whatever the content which we are seeing in the canvas app gallery that content should be passed into the power automate so that the power automate will help us for exporting right so for that reason i'm adding an input here and i'll say this as gal data okay gal data so now here after this i'm adding one more action that is pass this okay as you can see i'm added, added pass json and why i've added pass json is whenever we are passing the data right our gallery data into the power automate so gallery we have huge number of rows there available right so this huge number of rows we have to pass in the form of json to the power automate so that it will go the entire content will go in one go okay so when the entire content is getting passed in json uh, sorry passed in the form of json format we have to use this action so that we can extract those data from that json format okay so that's the reason we have to add pass JSON here. So here I'm directly selecting my variable that is gal data. Okay. And uh, I will uh, keep the schema as empty for now. Okay. I'll just keep it as empty. And I'm saving this. Okay. My flow is getting added now. Okay, as you can see, my flow is added. So now on the on -set property of this icon, I'm saying exp export to Excel dot run. The way we usually utilize the power automate, right? So now I'll say JSON. I'm utilizing the JSON function and I'm adding my gal call. That is my collection. 
and I'll say JSON format dot include binary data. Okay, so to again reiterate this, I'm just adding export to Excel dot run. That is my Power Automate, the way we usually run it, and I'm utilizing the JSON function, and this is my gallery which I'm utilizing for my items property of the gallery, right? This is my gallery collection and I'm saying JSON format dot include binary. So I'm converting the entire data in the form of JSON format and I'm saying include binary data as well. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and play this and I'll click on this icon. Okay. So as you can see, it is loading and it triggered my flow. Let's check the flow. Okay. I'll refresh my flows in make.powerautomate.com. So this is my flow which has been created recently. And if you see 50 seconds ago, it is filled. Okay, that's fine. So let's open this run. Okay, I'm switching back to the old view. It says my floor is filled. Why? Because it has no schema. Because we if you remember, I have added empty schema, right? So the thing is we have to load a schema. So what I'll do is for loading the schema, what we can do is whatever the previous, the simplest way, instead of going and creating from the scratch, right? Just take the data from the previous uh, run. Okay. So my successful run is for auto for absolute where I'm accepting the data, right? JSON format. So I'll just copy all this control A, control C. Okay. And now I'll edit this flow. After this, I'll expand this. And I'll just click on this generate from sample. I will paste whatever I've copied from the previous run, right? And I'll say done. If you see, automatically all my schema got generated. Okay. So now from this, I'll see this author part I don't want. The author column I don't want. So I'm just removing this entire author. How I am checking is if you see this, I've clicked here and it's ending here, right? So I'm removing the entire author field. Which I don't want. Okay. Rest all remaining, I'll keep it as is. Okay. Everything in string and number. And if you remember in my Canvas app, everything, a few of my columns values, like almost all of my columns values are decimals, right? Since it's decimal, the type of the field which you're fetching is very important. Okay. Created is a string, title is a string, that's fine. This is an integer, there is a rank, that is fine. Field 12, okay. So most of my fields are not integers, it's all numbers. What I'll do is I'll make these as numbers. Otherwise it will give me an error later. Okay. I'll make all the integers to numbers because all my inputs are from decimals. Okay. So make sure that, you know, it since it, this is my case, decimals, that's why it is happening. Otherwise in your case, if it's just the normal whole numbers, you can directly utilize integers. Okay. If it is giving you the error, mentioning that you know conversion type from uh, integer to number then you rightly you know, straightforward change the integer to number okay now i am saving this okay so my pass json is set i can test it also so i'll test it automatically from my previous run okay which has failed i will test it now to make sure it is running perfectly okay my flow ran successfully and it did pass all the details okay now let me edit it back again i've removed the author from the top but not from here i'll remove it from here as well required field okay so my next action step will be create csv okay there is a data operation called create csv table i'm clicking on this and it's asking me from which the inputs i'll say pass json i'll say pass json body okay this is created fine so now next step will be creating a file now i'll create a file in sharepoint okay if you don't have sharepoint you can create a file in uh, onedrive as well okay it's up to us all up to us we can just directly create a file okay so I'll give my site address, uh, I'll give my this site and my folder path, I'll take it as documents and file name, I'll say IO, 
I'll give an expression that is UTC now because to have a unique, you know, to unique name always, I'll say dot CSV. Okay, and file content will be my create CSV table content. That is this outputs. Okay, so now my file will be created. That is Excel file. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what we need to do is we have to send the response back to Power Apps. Okay. Now I'll say respond to Power Apps. Okay. And here, what we need to do, we have to basically generate a download, right? We have to download basically whenever I click on the button. So here with this, with the help of this, we have to generate a download link. Okay. So I'll say a variable name download link. Okay. Here I will add my, so whatever the, wherever I'm creating the file, right? That side collection, I'll take it like this. Okay. I'll take it over here. This is my list name. So I'll actually take the site collection like this. Only the site collection, okay? URL. So I'll take my site collection URL and I'll say, I'll come here and whatever the create file I've used right here, create file. In this create file, you will find a path. So you can directly utilize the path here, okay? So after the path, I'll just say question mark download equal to one. So this is the download link basically which we are generating okay and how we are generating first thing is my site collection data with wherever i'm creating the file next thing is my path and next comes download equals to one that means this is this is the parameter with which we will be able to download it okay now everything is set respond to power app what it will do is it will after executing the entire content it will respond our power app with this specific url okay which we have to collect it i'll show you how we can collect it okay now i'm saving this okay my flow is saved i'm going back to my power app i'll go to the flow and i'll refresh this because i've made some changes here now we have to always Refresh it whenever we make any changes in the Power Automate. Refreshing will take some time. Okay, meanwhile it's refreshing. So what we need to do here is we have to set a variable okay and i'll initialize the variable name as download and i'll say uh, download file say comma okay so what will happen with the set function is what we are doing after what after execution right after execution of this flow with c here itself it's explaining so what what we are doing here we are running the flow with our json data whatever you are passing okay after that, that means it triggers the flow after triggering the flow at the end it is responding back to my power app with this specific link so we have to collect this link so to collect this link i have utilized this specific download file okay so this download file is nothing but a variable name okay where my this link should get added okay now let's see how it gets collected. I'll just play it and click on this icon. So it's loading. That means it's running my flow. Let's go and check the flow. Whether it has ran successfully or not. If you see it successfully ran 11 seconds ago, I'm opening this. And at the end, it did generate a link. Okay, like this. And it's sent to my power app as well. Let's check in the power app. I click on the icon again and I'll double click on my variable. So my variable has a link now, right? And now what the last part is we have to actually download it, right? So to, to download it, we just have to use a launch function. You can directly utilize this launch function. And in the launch function, I'll add this variable of mine. Okay and i'll say dot download link because download link is the parameter which 
I'm adding over here, right? This one. So I'll say download file my variable name dot download link. And now I'll save and publish this. Okay. Now I'll directly go ahead and click on this icon now. It's loading. And if you see, uh, tab has been opened and it is the file is downloaded for me. I said IO and I said UTC now that means current date and time it will take and it will create a downloader file. I'll go to my file in the downloads. Okay, this is the one and I'll open it now. See, my file has been downloaded and it exported to the Excel. Everything right. So like this, we will be able to export to an Excel. Okay. And one more thing which uh, you might be having question is when I was explaining you this part in the Power Automate, if you don't have a data source of SharePoint, okay, you can utilize OneDrive as well. So for example, I said create file, right? If you don't have SharePoint, you can directly say create file here. Okay. And if you see there's OneDrive for business as well. So you can directly create a file in OneDrive for business as well. You can sign in to connect. And from there, you will be able to find a path for downloading and you can directly send that link into this specific power app. Okay. I hope uh, everything is clear and uh, this is how we'll be able to export to an Excel. Okay. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed the video and uh, if you did, please like and share. Thank you.